Hello everyone, my name is John Williams and this is my third video on a series of videos that I will be doing on alternative photographic processes as I learn them. This video is about uh, creating a digital negative or intrapositive on typing paper rather than using transparencies. This is my second attempt. I'll show you my first attempt later. But as you see, uh, and this is, by the way, for contact printing. That's one of the uh, main ways of printing alternative photographic processes that began, the one I'm doing now began, uh, anthotype began in 1840. So we're talking about going back a ways. Uh, my second attempt here, the way I did this, is I got a hot plate and set it over the stove burner and got it at about a medium heat and then I uh, my this photograph uh, is made a print a black and white print on typing paper which I ran through my Canon copier and this is the back side of it so you're actually looking through it now and what I did is I coated the back side uh, as this lay on a hot towel on a hot plate with this white beeswax and once I got it thoroughly coated of course you could see the image coming through I took a paper towel and I wiped off all the excess excess um, beeswax and so now this is the uh, final version I'm going to show you the first version which I decided probably wouldn't work uh, in just a minute but I'm going to hold this up to the window to see uh, how I like this a lot better. It had more highlights in it. That looks pretty good. I think uh, that would make a, it might work as far as uh, letting enough light through to do an exposure. And of course, I'm doing a three or two week exposure, so I got plenty of time. I'm using anthotype, which I described in an earlier video. But I'm going to take this into the room where I have the other uh, set up in a contact frame and show you the contact frame as well. So my little one-room studio is over here. And I wanted to show you the first version, which I've already placed on the, um, in the contact frame with the rubber bands. Now, this contact frame cost me about $3 because it's just an old um, picture frame that I uh, found at a uh, thrift store or something like that. And uh, what I did to uh, secure the um, the uh, this uh, intranegative or interpositive of the uh, hawk, uh, and then of course put it over the paper, and there's glass on top, and there's a backing. And the way I secured it is just by uh, cutting a piece of uh, wood, and then I actually decided to create more leverage on the wood by putting in some old. Uh, pieces of foam board that I'd cut. So that's how I've got the backing set up and I'm just going to set it in the window and, and let the exposure work. But I'm going to use this um, internegative, interpositive um, instead of that one because I, I think this one has enough highlights that it'll make a lot better uh, photograph. So thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, my little piece on um, making uh, digital negatives out of typing paper and wax.